Thieves on the South Shore have been targeting vehicles for parts to sell, and now a heartless crime. They've stolen a catalytic converter from a food pantry truck. Replacing that part will cost more than $10,000, and that's money that could help feed people. New at 11, WBZ's Christina Rex reports how the food pantry will continue its mission despite the setback. Thanks to the generosity of neighbors, the food pantry will operate out of this realty truck for now until they can get some kind of rental. It was just too hard to do so around September 1st, move-in day. And they don't know when their mobile food pantry will be fixed. This surveillance video appears to show two people cutting catalytic converters out of trucks at several businesses on the South Shore. That truck is on the road almost every day of the week. That brazen theft impacting far more than just those trucks. But also hundreds of families who rely on food from the Weymouth Food Bank. So this is a time of year where um, we get really busy. You know, back to school expenses come into play. Volunteers noticed something wrong when the bank's mobile food pantry was running unusually loudly. When they looked down, they found the converter had been cut right out of the truck. Just horrified. I mean, we're a community service. Um, you know, we, we exist at the generosity of others. This truck is needed to deliver thousands of pounds of food from this Rockland warehouse to neighbors in need. And the executive director believes the vandals knew who they were stealing from. You know, the truck has a big Weymouth food pantry on the side. It's kind of impossible to miss. The fix will cost $11,000. And because of supply chain issues, there's no telling when the big truck will be back on the road. That won't stop Panela Denham from feeding her community. Her message for the person who did this? Good Lord, I just hope you needed it way more than the, all the 400 families in Weymouth needed it because um, it was a very unkind thing to do. Now that behind me is the actual mobile food pantry right there. It was brought back to the warehouse with just a Band-Aid fix. The plan right now is to hopefully get a U-Haul for some time until this truck can get back out on the road. And if you're looking for a way to help the food pantry in this time of need, you can find more information on our website, cbsboston.com. In Rockland, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Well,